Welcome everyone, Kelly here from MTB Rides. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my tips and experiences on something we could all use a little bit of help with, and that's building confidence and skills on jumps. So, stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about the first tip that I have. And unfortunately, you're not gonna like it. And that tip is that there is absolutely no hack, no secret, no special sauce that is gonna make you better at jumping the only way that you're truly gonna get better is by repetition and that's doing it over and over and over again and then when you think you've done enough do it some more that's truly the only way that you're gonna improve at anything anything there's the select lucky few of you out there that pick things up immediately but for the rest of us it takes time takes time of just building that muscle memory and doing it again and again so that'll be my first tip practice 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 and do it again oh this trail is so fun this is such a fun fun trail i mean it's not hard at least for me it's not and uh none of it's big big consequence but man, it just provides so much fun. It's such a great place to practice. No worries. Now this leads me to tip number two. Essentially, we're going to want to take a warm-up lap. Pick a trail that you know. You don't want to get into anything, you know, that you're that you're surprised by. You want to get yourself comfortable on the bike. And uh, sorry, I had a yank on that one there. Get yourself comfortable on the bike and uh, warmed up. We don't want to go into learning new features or trying to progress ourselves when we're cold. So. Let's have a quick look at this one. We're on a trail called Twil Dw Trail Dweller. Just a nice blue flow trail. Nothing too committing on this one. Small gaps and jumps. And uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Woo. Good times. So there we go, warm up's complete. And we're ready to move on. Let's go check out the next trail. So what I have for you here is tip number three, and that is to have a look at the trail before you're gonna go down it. Obviously, if you're doing a beginner trail or a warm-up trail, you can probably trust that it's safe, but once you start progressing into something that's a little bit trickier, you're gonna wanna stop and take a, take a second to have a look at the trail and you know look at the features that you're gonna be you know up against. So on the trail that we're here, I mean, we're into the trail and we immediately get started off on this. So here we have basically a rock gap jump. So you know, and it's also a bit of a goal post. So ideally, this is definitely not something that we're gonna wanna start on to the beginning. So you're gonna wanna obviously take a chance, get a warm up lap in, and then go and inspect your trail. So that's what we're gonna do here next. Let's have a look at this. Woo. <laughs> All right, now that we checked everything out on the trail, we sessioned some of the jumps, we're gonna go back and just get comfortable with it and just ride it completely through straight in one shot here. Oh, good times. Just flowing along. Let's pull for this little gap here. Off the tree, another little gap. 
some kind of hip this tree here. Whew. A little nose heavy there. It's all good. And just keep her flowing. Oh, a little soft there. Good times. Starting to get tired here. Lots of laps in already. Make sure we don't get lazy here. A little hip. And up and over. Crank this corner here. And speed check. That was fun. And one little last section to get through here. A couple little gaps off the rock. Double drop. You. Oh, good times. For tip number five I have is practicing your skills. And that is, you know, ones that are related to jumping and dropping. So riding a pump truck, uh, learning how to pump through rollers on trails. I mean, this is the early stages of jumping, essentially getting used to, you know, waiting and unweighting yourself and learning how to build yourself speed. From there, we can learn how to pop and do these sort of things. And wheelies, um, you know, doing a wheelie, I mean, there's a lot there that's related to jumping and dropping um i don't you know i don't expect that you can do big wheelies I, even myself i can't wheelie very far but i'm i'm decent at jumping i'm fairly proficient but i mean i can do the basic wheelie you know 10 20 30 feet kind of thing so if you can't um you know get yourself on doing a front wheel lifts i mean you're definitely going to want to start there so tip five you know practice on your other skills Well, so that's the tips that I have for you today. So, I hope there's something useful to you. Something to just think about anyways before you get out there practicing some jumps. And hopefully, you can improve a little bit on the trail and get used to those jumps. Oh, I just love these little trails. So fun. It's nice and tacky today. Could soft or could harden up just a little bit still, but pretty much almost perfect here. Oh yeah. Thanks so much for watching the video today. Appreciate it very much. Consider giving me a thumbs up and maybe subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.